Alright, that's that little group dealt with. Let's... Take out the warriors. Noble enemy has fallen in battle, and you can stay in Ross for a little while. Your loyalty is very high. I don't think I need to get a priest for you. Quartermaster is probably a better idea. Generally, the ones I go for are priest, quartermaster, forager. Pillager does look good. I haven't really grabbed it yet, though. Um, and of course, the uh, champion command. Quartermaster, I think I'll take for that extra movement range. We could move them in, but there's not much point at the moment. We don't really need another uh, small group moving around here. No. We probably just need a group to take out uh, the Thunderhammers here. You can count on us. Which is probably going to be the Highland Crusades, but they are a little bit down at the moment. Hey, JJ! Thanks for stopping by, man. I appreciate it. How have you been? I've just been trying to get with uh, Thrones of Britannia. I gotta say, I have enjoyed this one quite a bit. A lot of people have been sort of like, eh, over it, but the mechanics have worked quite well for me. I'm doing okay. It is five in the morning, just about, and I'm still not asleep, but I kind of slept for 16 hours yesterday, and that has screwed me over completely, so, yeah. An MC team on Twitch. Oh, yeah? How's it going? There we go. We're out of supplies, but we've cut, taken Lathan. Let's watch this, this area. Uh, Erishadan and Torinduin. The two places that they stole off our ally that we need to deal with. We're going to need to recruit a lot more men to take on this lot. So, let's go through our food surplus. Uh, 1059 divided by 7 is about 151. Let's grab souls first, then crossbows, archers, um, axe, and that's it. Hold there for a little while. Oh, jeez. I didn't realize that they'd also be deserting. I probably should have grabbed a bit more. It's lagging so much. Oh. Sorry, bud. Our bravery is necessary. Not oh, fucking they move. They cannot move onto this side this turn. So let's grab for a off them. Probably should have sacked it actually. We're not going to be keeping it for long. None shall stand against us. And we'll pick up a quartermaster here. I believe that's all. We've got a few uh, real problems with public order that I don't really have anything to handle with at the moment. I don't have the money to build anything to handle it. I'll see if I can fix it. And lower it a tiny bit. You play as the Mide, the other Gaelic, Gaelic clan. Ah, the one that actually starts over in um, Ireland, doesn't it? It's very interesting how like how distant the uh, people technically from the same background can uh, actually get from each other simply because they sailed across and just landed at two different areas. I really like it. How have you been finding the Mide? They're about over here, yeah? Um, that's the Diflin. Oh god, the Mide is still alive. Yeah, they're still alive. Oh! <laughs> they're still alive, but they don't have any regions left. There's just one little army around in this area. Nice, that's cool, man. Reunite all of Ireland and then crush the English. How are you progressing? 
How much of the island have you taken? I was playing as uh, Difflin earlier. Uh, it's quite it's quite fun uh, going around raiding everything, especially when you have that boat advantage. Because actually going into ports and not having a uh, disadvantage from attacking from sea is a lot bigger than I gave it credit for previously. Uh, Governor up here has gone up level. His ult is pretty happy. Oh, we have food problems. Let's grab Forager for the food. None shall stand against us. None shall stand against us. They are still chasing this little the army here. Looks like we can't actually squeeze through here without going through Torinduini. So we're just gonna have to. S oh god, we can't suck it up because we'll be going straight past Imbanis. I think, uh, Regan, it's time to come home. You're gonna get caught otherwise. We will not fail you. Now we're talking. No. I'm worried about this. My I need to build up supplies, but parallel. at the moment we really can't. Ah, thank you very much, uh, Honey. Very kind of you. See, I need to move this army out, but each turn that it's out, the supplies are going to be so awful that I won't be able to actually take on this group when we come to it. Even just sitting here, we're losing supplies. So, my options are to take them on and try and take them out anyway, to merge my units and try and recruit more. That's probably what I'm going to be doing. Or I could... Or I could just disband the entire army and start building a new one with supplies. I think... Yeah, I'm going to merge these guys together. That will hopefully help. And then... We can start recruiting, say, over here instead. Mm. But I need a unified force to move against these guys. What are you doing for supplies? You're doing quite well. And the buildings over there are better suited for it. Yeah, alright. It's time for the king to retire. We'll start building up a new force over here. Uh, 17, 12, 12 by 17. It's going to be about 10. Ah, 100 dollar. Okay. Of course, what I didn't think about is that we don't really have the numbers in our recruitment pool to grab enough men. Mahoney says, I've moved up and down the east coast. My brother-in-law owns a few west of me. I'm working on pushing north, but I just crushed a guy using Viking mercenaries. Yes! <laughs> That's awesome! So you're working with your, your um, allied with your brother-in-law? You're taking over island together? That's pretty cool. Oh, wait, no, oh, unless... Wait. <laughs> Do you mean your brother-in-law in real life or your brother-in-law in the game? Because um, I'm not sure how the uh, Midday family works. Exactly. The men are eager to get to it. Yeah, okay, they've taken Frey's back. Not a surprise. For the glory of the game. Let's get some more numbers in. Oh, <laughs> in the game. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. And... Ugh, we don't really have the money to continue much further. Oh, boy. The horsemen cost a lot more than I thought they did. Could grab a little mini army. Move it down to take a few more territories. As the, uh, I want to say it's Jin, but no, that, that's, that's a, that's a genie. Uh, <laughs> as the other guys over in the island, uh, I actually used a tactic of sort of slashing and burning through their minor territories and then taking on everything else. Uh, just getting like one major army and then 
four or five just just a general army like a, a, an army with a general in it and that's all my army is and just moving around and picking off like um so i was playing as the Difflin down here so i'd say go to war against the Egyala er up here uh, okay they've got one main settlement they've probably got one army i'd make an army to crush their army and then move against the capital and I'll, i'd make um, one, two, three more armies, just one, one man each, one general each, and send them to pick off all those other places. They'd eventually run out of food, they wouldn't be able to raise another army, and then I would be able to crush with that main army. It's... The lack of garrisons has made very interesting, um, choices. Alright, let's start pushing this way. If I can steal Torin Duini away from them, that would be all to the good. I've got to be moving quickly as well. Let's grab... Not the king, I don't want to send the king out on his own. In fact, this army I think I'll replace with the king himself. Raise another army here. And this one I'll send off by sea to start taking things like Torfness and Rosmersind. I've got some money left. Can't do any more recruiting right now. Got a blacksmith I could grab. Mm, that's all good. That's all good. Yes, that is true. Uh, all all units that are not Viking, if you put them out on the sea, they get minus 50% of every single stat. So, they're half as good at fighting, they're half as good at shooting, they'll run away twice as fast. Um, everything just gets absolutely slaughtered in terms of stats. So, if you manage to get... If you, as a Viking player, manage to catch out an enemy on the sea that isn't a Viking, you will utterly destroy that army. It's quite fun. <laughs> and it also allows you to invade by port as well. Since most people invading by port, you still need to bring, like, about as many people as you would trying to get through the walls, because you need to actually um, be sort of matching up at least two to one for every single unit that they put out. A midwife. She understands how to nurse pregnant mothers to successful births, considering decreasing the chances that their offspring will be stillborn. Oh, that's quite nice. Uh, no, yeah, no, p please, by all means, marry. That's, that's brilliant. Good. Good, please, please be happy. No! Not the bees! The mortality of bees. Ten, minus 10 supplies in foreign territory, minus 5 supplies in our own territory, and minus 50% for all farms. Ugh, that's actually quite problematic. Alright, let's sidle up nice and close. To the border. Hmm. Got a bit too close. I can't actually uh, switch into Fortify Stance, which I was hoping for so I could get a few more units back. Yeah, me too. Anything... In most games, anything that where I'm not fighting on land, I kind of get tetchy about. I don't like um, the combined arms approach. Like, in Hearts of Iron 4, I don't really like fighting in the sea. I don't really like fighting in the air. I just want to put my... I just want to put boots on the ground and march them into the enemy. Uh, three options. Stay here, let my troops recruit a little bit more, maybe wait out the winter. It is currently winter, we can get spring, we can march in. Second option, I go as closely as possible to make sure that I'll be able to get there next turn. Third option, I step over the border and start raiding instead. Get a few supplies. We're still good on supplies at the moment. We're actually still gaining supplies, despite the bees. I think I'll stay here. War is what we do you boys can move out. Just hop onto the water. None shall stand I'll allow you to draw by water. You can go for top. Where are they going? They're going for the farm. That will slow them down nicely. Blaskona is. Ah, yes. Uh, well, I've lost a territory to the rebels. That is fine. Um. 
this is all what I still consider enemy territory. Um, this, this is all mine. This was all originally mine, so I consider it mine. This, I consider enemy territory, so I don't mind if rebels come back, take over the lands, and sit in it. Because that's an 8-stack eight eight, eight full health army sitting on one of their bases. I'm okay with that, because that's going to make it very difficult for them to actually take that territory. We have another lot slot open on the Sen. We have a specific building, the Scone Priory. I always build unique buildings, because they're fun. Even if they're not that powerful compared to some of the other ones, it's still fun. In this ancient capital of the Picts stands a church of notable importance. Plus two happiness, fame, plus five fame, plus 15% money to the church, which is going to be like, I don't know, 15 gold because of the uh, Kelly de Priory. Yeah, it's not that great, but it's alright. Alright. Okay. Usually, Mahoney says, I'd usually put up huge blockades so they couldn't sail around my armies, and then just auto resolve and deflate the rain to my huge blockade. <laughs> now that's a good approach to water. I like that approach. <laughs> We're not going to fight on the water. We're going to make a bridge of ships that expands across the entire ocean. And when you run into us, then we shall have our disagreements. Beautiful. Oh! All warriors that sounded a lot further than I thought. Buildings. Messages. Good, good, good. Prepared to defend from the garrison chain. Is having the governor? But you sure, it's nice. Torin Duny! One battering ram and many siege towers. As for tech, we have now recruited enough units so we can grab the techs. For military, or we can continue along one of these uh, civic ones. We don't have any of the other civic ones yet because we haven't built a particular buildings. I am going to unlock Warhounds or Stat Increase. Whoa! Those are good stat increases. I really like the crossbowmen. I really like the crossbowmen, so I think I'm going to go that, that way. Ammunition and missile damage. Replace the archers and the javelin men. Range. But unfortunately upkeep cost. And then replace the crossbowmen, replace the archers. I like that a lot. Let's do it. To victory. What's that? This turn. Next turn. Go full out. My memory is shot. Alright, where can they block off? At the moment it says nowhere. Uh, oh, no, it, it, it says many places, but I uh, vastly underestimated just how far that range is. Oh, wow. Okay, unfortunately if I sail closer to their lands, they're going to be able to catch me. Uh, they cannot catch me, I believe, if I land now. Uh, I think I'm going to disband you here, and we'll bring up a new force just over here, and you will be heading for Tovnus, probably by uh, that beach there. Ooh. Oh, we had flooding over in Skern. That's unfortunate. Repair it all. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> that's very expensive damage. Waters, please. A little less of that. Alright, all to the goods. Uh, bees. Sometimes the cheeky bastards would try and sail around and out to sea, and I'd sail to cut them off and finish them after they suffered attrition. <laughs> Perfect. 
Uh. <laughs> Attrition is a very handy tool. Uh, one that I haven't often used to its greatest effects, but very fun what I do. Ah, I don't want to fight this army or this navy. I think I'll just uh, let them die over time. <laughs> This is just silly of them. They're chasing after tiny armies, going after tiny settlements. Let's go sit off here. War is what we do best. That, that will allow us to go up here. Go to port next turn. We do not want to get onto the seas because they will be able to catch us there. They're desperately trying to raise an army in Foray to stop us from taking Torin Dini, but it is too late. Let's go. I often found, um, with sea combat, trying to stop them from sailing past me, it got very, very frustrating. Because, not because instead of just holding a blockade, I'd, I'd always be tempted to, like, form a blockade and then attack with one ship. Or, or, or like attack with a group that can sink them, but then they'd retreat, and uh, this was back in like Rome two, so they'd have an absolutely huge retreat distance. They'd walk past my blockade and just sail off into the nether. That's <laughs> just like, guys, you were there to stop them. What what are you doing? <sighs> All right, we've fought in this location before, actually. Time to do it again. Buttering ram to the front. There's no one else better to put them on the walls. That's fine. And cavalry to stick back. Our hidden units have been discovered. Oh, bollocks! I should have put one of the uh, siege towers up here. So that that would distract them. Maybe I can send, say, some level cavalry up just to take out that guard house, gatehouse rather. They do get awfully distracted by approaching enemies at gatehouses. All right, let's get the rest of our men up forwards. Arranged just behind that. Amanda and the rest of our horsemen just outside of their range. Oops. I thought I told you to be the one to attack it. No. No, I didn't. Okay, retinue. Oh my god, yes. That's... <laughs> They're always exceptionally good at placing themselves in just the right little place where they're just outside of your age. So frustrating. That's why uh, I really like Quartermaster in this one, because I can actually push them up to be able to just say, No! No, you can't do that! <laughs> I outrange you at any moment. Stop it! Alright, we're gonna sit these guys here to soak the damage. I do not actually have shield wall on these guys, so this might have been a bad idea. In fact, it's definitely a bad idea. We're gonna form the square anyway. Increases the shield at least a little bit. Still not a good idea. More importantly, it gives them another target for them to shoot at. Crossbow's gonna fire? Seems like not. Come on, boys. There we go. Let up those crossbows. Ah! They got me! They got me! Excellent! <laughs> oh, God. Our siege towers are very close to one another. Charge! Into them, men. Into them. Perfect. Shove your bodies into their spears. That's the way. The enemy's gates have been destroyed! Yeah, we seem to have trouble actually trying to... Hey! There we go. Trying to distract them. It's not really working out. Cavalry, forward! Those 
decide what target to go for here. I think. Go for this little warband here. They always have their leader back here, so we won't be able to take the point with these guys alone, but we will be able to turn them around and get someone later. Like these boys have just decided to put themselves into a vulnerable position. Break the square, let's get through. Charger! Boys need to move further along the line. You guys. You can actually start walking towards the end result. Warband's crushed. Let's chase down those fighters. Ooh, no, 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 no. Finish off the warband. Yes. This tower should be going down somewhat soon. I believe the more people you pack onto a point the faster the timer. Oh yes, the faster, faster. The more people you stack onto a point, the faster the timer ticks down on capturing it. So while I uh, used to try and send out like one to, one person to each point that I needed uh, to capture it all, it's actually much more efficient to do it one at a time and just surge everyone onto the point so that it captures very quickly. Up here. You guys need to stop firing now. Go stand guard in front of the gates to try and catch anyone passing through. Ah, they're broken. I'll move around here. So I've got space there. We will not be bringing in the king as. I thought at first I would have him come in just to oversee the victory, maybe get the final charge in. Uh, ceremonial victory, but... Oh, that's actually the smaller point. No, 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 I want the large point. That's where I'll be waiting. Well, in that case, we can just send some horsemen out here to take over this position. Everyone else... And change direction. Get up here. What are you all doing out here? Pretty good. Jumping through their territories, tearing down their fences! <laughs> it's fine over here. Here we go. Are they? They don't have any shoes, do they? Oh, guys, come on! Who are you? Oh, you're levy javelin men. Yeah, alright, fair enough. But still, you, watch where you're walking. These guys have shoes. The crossbowmen have shoes. Oh, he's going barefoot. It's a bad idea. You never know what you're going to step on. Set fire to a few things on our way through, as you do. Which man? Whoa! Some in there, attack. They don't even have sandals. Like sandals is one of the easiest things that you could just, you know, like okay, calm out a bit. And then put some straps in, you're done. Sandals. We haven't even bothered our feeding them with sandals. Just look at them. Completely shoeless. Ah, ah, ah. See, this guy, this must be the commander. This guy's the smart one. Ah, he didn't him too. We got two guys with shoes. Like, not, not even, like, sandal worthy. They're just, they've just gotten bits of leather and wrapped them around their feet. You crazy bastards. Come on, speed through, speed through. Crossbowmen, stop, stop here, stop here. 
this is uh, not the most efficient fight, but uh, I always get frustrated trying to f chase down the last unit, which is always the commander, so it's always one of the stronger units that they've got. It just, it draws out the fight to a ridiculous degree. It provides no worth whatsoever for the enemy, because they're not providing their leadership bonus anywhere. It's just a sacrificed unit. And yes, it does stop us from, like, going around with, like, a single unit and taking the main objective, but, I mean, honestly, if I'm going to do that, and I always know that the leader's going to be there, then that's two objectives on one point. I may as well just send enough men to go there, kill the general, and then take the point. It's silly. It's silly, silly AI that they've programmed for this one.